we have some fresh yellowfin steaks that were caught aboard Talking Trash Sport Fishing with Captain Chris Little and mate Keith Puller. So before we get started, we'll kind of go over our ingredients today. Um, first thing we're going to do is make a sweet soy syrup. And to do that, we need some brown sugar, some soy sauce, some honey, and then some sesame oil, some sesame seeds, some uh, nice Hawaiian salt, sea salt we crush, and black pepper, and a sweet onion, probably like a Vidalia onion. So from here, what next thing we're going to do is kind of combine everything, and we're going to make the sweet soy sauce. So in order to do that, we generally put about like one and a half, one and a quarter cup of soy sauce in our saucepan here. Next thing we'll need is some honey. Now I'm not really going to measure this out, I kind of eyeball it, but it's probably going to be like five to eight tablespoons depending on how sweet you really want this to be. So if you want it to be more salty, use less honey. If you want it to be more sweet, uh, use more honey. Uh, next thing we're going to do is get a couple tablespoons of brown sugar to add to that as well. I usually do like you know two to three just to give it a little different um, sweet profile to it. Then basically what I'm going to do is uh, turn this on and bring it to a simmer. And while it's heating up, I'm going to grab our whisk. Try to kind of stir this up a little bit. So the stove, this is electric, so it's going to take a minute or two to warm up. So this will help us kind of mix the honey, the brown sugar, and everything. And then generally, we're going to just bring this to a, a boil real quick. And then when it comes to a boil, we'll reduce the heat down and simmer it. Uh, you just want to be really careful not to um, uh, <clears throat> let it boil over. And then we'll throw it in the fridge for about you know 20 to 40 minutes to tighten it up a little bit. So while that's gonna that's kind of nice and mixed now, we're gonna basically while that's um, coming to a boil, we're going to ch start chopping up our tuna. So these are some nice yellowfin tuna steaks. It's probably roughly about a 50 or 60 pound tuna. And to do it, I like to, you can kind of see a nice pink color there, nice little sheen to it with some oil. And for me, I like to cut our poke chunks into kind of smaller pieces, so. You can do this pretty much with yellowfin, bluefin, blackfin, any kind of nice fresh tuna, big eye. But this year, Captain Chris put us on a lot of yellowfin tunas, so we're going to make a lot of poke this year. So that piece for Jax. Jax, do you like poke? Says I like whatever you guys throw in my bowl. So you can see it's a nice bowl of ahi all diced up. So as you can see over here, you know, our sweet soy syrup is starting to kind of come to a simmer. 
So we're going to want to kind of give that a stir and turn our heat down. Because this boils over, it's going to ruin your day. So what you should do this a couple times for like a minute or two just to kind of thicken everything up and tighten it up and then we're actually going to throw this in the fridge and we're going to let it sit for about a half hour to an hour and it cools down and that way it becomes more of a really thick uh, syrup. And Jax wants to know when dinner is ready because he wants to try some. for now. Um, next thing you want to do is take like a sweet onion like a Vidalia and um, you know basically you only need about a quarter of a small onion or like I mean you could this is a pretty big onion so we just basically need a little slice of it but um, yeah I like to add a little bit of crunch to it um, and it gives a little bit of that um, sweet onion flavor to it and it gives a little more depth to it and then when I went to Hawaii, had out there, I kind of had that ingredient in there. It was pretty good. All right, next thing we want to do is add our sesame oil. I mean, I get most of the stuff from the grocery store. I'm sure there's better oils. Um, but most of the stuff I find in a local Safeway, Giant, it all works. This is probably going to be mm, probably about like two to three tablespoons. <clears throat> Should make it one more. little stir, mix the sesame oil with the sweet onion. And then I like to take uh, like a nice sea salt, just give a couple twists. You're going to get a lot of salt with the soy sauce, but that just gives a little more crunch to it. And then just a little bit of, a little bit of black, black pepper. And then your sesame seeds. So you can toast these, it's gonna give it a little bit more flavor, but um, tonight we're kinda of hungry, so we're just gonna throw them in. And last but not least, we'll grab some sweet soy syrup that's already done. So this has kinda of been in the fridge for a while, like an hour or so. You can kinda of see how nice and thick and syrupy it is, kind of almost the consistency of like a pancake syrup or something like that. And it tastes nice, salty and sweet and good. So we're going to give that a stir. Mix it all around and that's what it should look like. into the fridge for about a half an hour, let it tighten up, and then we're gonna serve over rice. So that is our tuna poke recipe. Get out there in the Atlantic Ocean, catch yourself a yellowfin, make some yummy pokey.